Want to see your Skystone robot on the front page of Twitch? Submit your end of the year reveal video to FTC Reveal Night by Saturday, April 4th to be shown on Wednesday, April 8th. Go to tinyurl.com forward slash Skystone Reveal to submit your video. Um, and so moving on to the 15th spot, we have 12611. That's Tech Nova from Bellevue, Washington. Throughout this season, this team has been known for their auto. They've done a lot with odometry and Roadrunner to perfect their autos. Uh, they've also got some of the best designed auto clamping claws I've seen that passively extend as they go down to grab a stone. Uh, they've got a consistent five stone autonomous and it gives them a skyscraper level two at the end of auto, setting them up for a high scoring tally up. Uh, I hope they compete at some time in the off season because I'd love to see them try for a six stone auto, or if they come to CRI, maybe they'll try an eight stone auto there. <laughs> yeah. I times. mean, watching this team, like you could see their evolution from the first time, uh, from the first week, the first week they released like this auto path to get five stones and something like that. Then they released their three stone auto. Then they released their four stone auto. Now they've got a five stone auto and it's not just their software that's improving. Like if you go to their YouTube channel, they've got a really cool video of how their new clamping claws work, where as they lower it, it passively extends that way they can get a better reach and only have to move in straight lines up and down the field. Absolutely. And this is one of the other teams that's been, uh, I think, has been defining the way, like, this season has run because of their relative openness from the beginning of the season in on YouTube, right? Um, a lot of teams don't really post that much, but when they do, when, when the teams that do post really, I think, direct the pathway, direct how teams develop their robots, and this is one of those teams. Yeah. So in the 14th spot, we have Team 87-19. That's Quantum Leap from Mason, Ohio. This team traveled across the country, playing matches far and wide. They won both the Ohio, their Ohio and Maryland State qualifiers, as well as the Inspire Award in Ohio, uh, in their Ohio qualifier. In addition, this team won the Virginia State Virginia State Championship Inspire Award, punching their ticket to Detroit. Finally, their season came to an abrupt end as division finalist in the Maryland State Championship. It would have been amazing to see what they could have done at Worlds. Yeah, solid team overall. I played stacker with them. Uh, they, they, I was feeding. They were stacking at the Maryland State Championships, and they, they do it so then they can hold two stones at once. They've got one in their intake and one on the tower, and that made them really fast. Like we were able to build towers very, very quickly with them. Um, and now in the thirteenth spot, we have Team Seven Two Four Four. That's out of the box from Thorndale, Pennsylvania. Team 7244 has been having a field day, or should I say a field season, with the Skystone Challenge. After making it to finals in both their qualifiers and winning one of them, they made it to the Pennsylvania State Championships, where they simply dominated. This dynamic robot complemented their captains, as well as went on to win the state championship. That's right. So this 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 robot was the winning line's first pick, I believe. And it really mm -hmm. showed. It they, they were able to... Their strategy with uh, with the captain, um, eighty three ninety three, was just able to like, I think I, I, it's it's hard for me to put into words just how well they were able to play every single match of of like of limbs, right? They didn't. There was no letdown. There was no like drop off. Every single match they played was a hundred percent, and it was perfectly executed. And I think that that was just impressive. They also just have a beautiful robot. Um, they spent a lot of time in CAD. Oh yeah, definitely. a lot of time again. This alliance right here was so fun to watch with Out of the Box and Brainstem. Um, Pennsylvania finals are just awesome, um, super competitive there. Uh, and so let's move on to our twelfth spot where we have Team Fifty Sixty Four. That's Aperture Science from Elon, North Carolina. Aperture Science had a bit of an unfortunate showing at the North Carolina Championship after losing twice in the semis and not qualifying for the Houston Championship. But overall, they've been a really great team so far this year, and I'm sure they will do well if they apply for MTI, CRI, or any off-season events. Uh, this was their best match of the year, uh, capping a nine-stack in qualifier 32, qualification match 32. Um, they're Again, always a, the claw bot. The claw bot always a great team to watch. Amazingly strong. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree with that. Um, but this was another year where they were one of the strong claw bots, and I think that that is super unique and super awesome. Definitely, yeah. So the 11th spot we have, uh, in the 11th spot, we have team 7357. 
That's team Titanium. That's team Titanium Tech from Lee's Summit, Missouri. Team Titanium Tech is always one of the more unique designs, but always puts up big numbers. This year, they have a horizontal claw that works well in both autonomous and teleop really consistently. Their fast scissor lift mechanism makes them a reliable stacking partner and help them caption the winning alliance at the Missouri State Championship, where they went almost totally undefeated. Fun fact about them is they were the first team this season to cross 100 OPR. I really wish we could have seen them compete against other really strong robots with their unique claw design at the Houston World Championship. Yeah, Again, this is... They they always have like a claw and they always surprise me with how good it is. They're such good drivers, um, and their scissor lift was very very sturdy. Like I've not seen it that good of a scissor lift in a while. So I think overall such a great team. Mm -hmm. And they're consistently just so powerful. Um, they're consistently so powerful. Like starting from the very beginning of the season. I think that that's one of their strategies. And it's so awesome to, it's just really great to see how they, they just consistently put up such high and efficient numbers. Awesome. Before we get into the top 10, Tyler, can you please tell us how people can enter for our giveaway? <laughs> Tyler, you're muted. Oh, I double clicked the wrong thing. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so uh, even I mute myself sometimes. So uh, exclamation muted in chat would be great. Uh, so once again, uh, we'll be giving away the NeverRest Classic 40 gear motor from our friends at Animark. Uh, so if you're interested in winning this, we're just going to do the keyword AM-100. Uh, because for some reason, everybody likes doing the, the dash 100, negative 100. I don't know what it is. I'm old. So, uh, But once again, with that said, uh, type that in. Don't forget, you do need to be following the channel in order to be eligible. And uh, our subscribers will get five times luck to win. And don't forget, if this is not claimed for some reason, uh, then we give it away in our super secret channel in Discord that our subscribers and patrons Patreons have access to. Uh, so go like everybody. We'll draw for that later on during the show. Awesome. Now in the 10th spot, we have team 11260. That's Upper Creek Robotics from Longmont, Colorado. Upper Creek has been so fun to watch this year. They're the simplest design. They've got a very simplistic design that uses a ton of rev and has uh, got a lot of really big 3D printed parts. Like last year, they did a lot of basic rev, and now it looks like they're evolving to using a lot of 3D printed parts and uh, more rev. They've won two of their three events this year and have the second highest score for Skystone. Um, earlier this season, they released a mid-season reveal, which is now playing, and I'd love to see their final reveal on reveal night on April 4th. Absolutely. So this robot is one that's just... Um, again, it, it follows what I think the essence of this season was supposed to be, and it does it so well. Um, another thing that, not necessarily the robot, but their cinematography, always, always amazing. So I'd love to see that in the future. I'd love to see that coming in. I have spent hours on YouTube just watching this reveal and the reveal from last year on repeat. It's pretty fun to watch, and I think that overall they're a solid robot. I just want to say, if you guys haven't seen two for Upper Creek for their FRC videos, they're uh, just as incredible as well. Like, seriously, the cinematography that this team uses uh, is just incredible. And it's just every single year. It's just these uh, just awesome videos over and over again for both their FTC and FRC programs. And absolutely love them. Uh, I, I'm good buddies with uh, their, the person who helps run their FRC program. And this team just makes fantastic machines every year all across first. And it's just really cool to see this team continually – uh, just putting out the just some of the best content in the world. Love it. Love to see it every single year. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are interested in how that dynamic works between an FTC and an FRC team. I asked them, so their FTC team operates completely independently. They do their own recruiting and all of that. And then they use the same build space as the FRC team, so they have access to the same tools and stuff like that. And I think it's a pretty cool way that they've uh, organized themselves. Awesome. Um Nathan, do you want to introduce the next spot, the ninth spot? Yep. In our ninth spot, we have Team 3101. That's the Boombots from per Paul oh, Palm Harbor, Florida. As last year's Houston World Champions, uh, Boombots have been looking to keep their title. They currently have the highest Teleop OPR in the South 
and have done two 12 caps at their Florida State Championship. They just have an extremely quick and efficient stacking system and have been a powerhouse this season, uh, being the first to stack 11 in competitions and having the 12th highest OPR this season. Overall, they, they solid just, team. They're they're on fire. Yeah, honestly, Great team. it's uh, it's very it's been amazing to see this team since I believe 2018 was the first I've really really seen them on a, like a national stage, and they've just been killing it like ever since. Um, just the ability to uh, analyze the game every single year and develop a machine. Last year there was theirs was really unconventional, but it worked. It won champs for them, and this year it's like it's something that's very very efficient and like extremely fast. Definitely, yeah. So now, in the eighth spot, we have Team 8393. That's the giant diencephalic brainstem robotics team from Baden, Pennsylvania. Another Pennsylvania powerhouse, Team 8393, has maintained their position as one of the best teams in the world for another season. This year, their lightning-quick drivetrain, four-stone auto, and dynamic playing capabilities made them the winning alliance captain of their qualifier and the Pennsylvania State Championship. It's a shame we won't see their high level of play at Worlds, but never fear. They are applying to MTI and are working on making their five-stone, you heard me right, five-stone auto consistent with the possibility of six. This team will surely turn heads wherever they go. Brainstem has always been a force to be reckoned with, um, and they're just showing this season that they're doing it again, and they're super competitive and super successful. Um yeah. I know we were talking about this earlier. This finals was so electric to watch uh, with Brainstem and up and um, out of the box um, on the same alliance. Absolutely. Once again, playing their best game for literally every match is what I believe is like, it's so underrated. Like, don't get me wrong. People listening might be like, what, what does that mean? Of course, you have to play your best game to win. But like be having like literally flawless to almost flawless games every single match of a competition. I think that's just something that's super impressive. And I think it comes with the experience that this team has being on uh, on the world stage every single year, like in recent history, being at such a high stage at Worlds every single year. Um, I think that's what really gets them to that point. Yeah. And yeah. in the seventh spot, we have team 8644. That's the Brainstormers from Lexington, Massachusetts. Um, the Brainstormers have been pretty quiet this year with not too much shown off until the Massachusetts State Championship. They really, quote, popped off with an OPR of 111.4 and an extremely consistent four-stone auto. They ended the Sky Stone season with the second highest OPR, and I'm excited to see them at any off-season events. This is another team like Brainstem. They've been around forever. They've got the veteran experience, even though they did do, like, a complete... They did a completely redo of their team, a recast of their team. Um, they've they've really picked up with where they were last year and they're continuing to be strong. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely. And in our sixth spot, we have team 8802. That's negative resistance from Bellevue, Washington. Being a really popular team throughout the season, negative resistance has created one of the earliest and most highest scoring autonomouses. Uh, this team... Uh, defined what Autonomous was going to be this year, and they truly set the bar with their early season videos showing dominant performances. Uh, this team competed in both Washington and California, dominating in both and punching their ticket to Houston. So this was another team. What, what I was mentioning about the team that sets the tone for a season for the season. That's that's these guys. That's literally these guys. Just their ability to um, to put out such high and put out such consistent. Um, shows before anyone else right just just being being the first one to it is what i i think really proved their uh proved their dominance yeah definitely thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.